Everybody loves a good joke. Have you heard the one about the bureaucrat up in Santa Fe who said, the state doesn't make mistakes? Well, if that was a joke, people would probably be rolling in the aisles. But it's not a joke. A woman whose life was being ruined by a state mistake claims a bureaucrat really did tell her that. Kim Holland's on special assignment tonight with a story of big government being a big bully. I've lost out in three jobs. I haven't been able to work because of this. The state made a big blunder. That's just unconscionable. The egregious error happened nearly a decade ago, and its effects still have serious consequences today. Not just one error, but 1,200 of them. Hundreds of files were affected, and in some cases, people were mistakenly accused of abuse, neglect, or exploitation. Because of That's situation. what happened to Angelique Ardella. Last October, she wanted to update her license as a certified nursing assistant. She contacted the state health department, where an employee for the department had some shocking news for her. She said, well, I don't know how you've been working, because in 1997 or 1999, you had been, um, yeah, I had gotten someone and I abused somebody and I was dumbfounded at the point. I said, no, I couldn't have. There's no way possible. And there's more. She not only was accused of abuse, but it was on a public registry that everyone could see. Over three months, she repeatedly talked to Delphinia Sandoval, the nurse aid registry coordinator. And then told that I would never get it off because she was the queen of licensings and she was not going to take that off of my um back my name because it was on there by the state and the state doesn't make mistakes. Ardella told the coordinator there's no way this is true because during the dates in question, she was more than 1,100 miles away living in Chicago. She even submitted birth certificates from her children born in Chicago and three years of hospital records showing she was taking care of her daughter who was undergoing treatment for leukemia at the time. The state said that wasn't enough proof. For three months, she tortured me and told me I did it. The Department of Health said Ardella had not given irrefutable proof that she was not working in New Mexico during 1997 and 1999 and warned that after January 31st, her name would remain on the abuse registry in New Mexico permanently. Ardella said she can't get a job because of this and it's nearly ruined her life. Um, it's been hard. <laughs> I thought I was going to lose my house. I wasn't going to be able to pay my bills. I've been stressed. I can't go for jobs because, you know, I don't want them to look at me as an abuser when I'm not. We picked up the phone to call the Department of Health to ask about her case. And boy, did we get a surprise. The cabinet secretary said yes, there was an error. They've known about it since 2005 when they found the 1,200 mistakes. Here's what happened. The state changed IT contractors, which created a download error. The 1,200 errors, including 300 incorrect allegations of abuse, neglect, or exploitation. The state says most files were flagged or fixed, but not all, including Ardella's. And that's why registry coordinator Delphinia Sandoval gave Ardella such a hard time. Ms. Sandoval was not aware that there was a conversion in 2005. Health Secretary Retta Ward says the department didn't know about the error in Ardella's file until we called. Is Ms. Delphinia Sandoval going to be facing any discipline? Is she going to be talked to about the wording she used and the way she handled this case? We'll be talking to all employees who handle the, the certified nurse aid registry. State health officials will be going through affected files to make sure they caught all the mistakes. The abuse allegation has now been removed from Ardella's file and it no longer is online. State Senator Gerald Ortiz Pino says it wasn't right for the employee to tell Ardella the state doesn't make mistakes. The state makes mistakes all the time. It's made up of people. People make mistakes. Secretary Ward is apologizing. And I'm very sorry for any any pain and inconvenience that this caused for her. The good news is my name is cleared. I am able to now go into places and feel comfortable and know I don't have abuse charges on my name and hopefully get my job. On special assignment, Kim Holland, KRQE News 13. Okay, all of that is frightening enough, but the Department of Health also says most of those mistakes have been fixed, but they could not tell us how many have not been.